The tropical pack for Planet Zoo is here! Planet Zoo has just released uh, the newest announcement trailer for their newest DLC, the tropical pack, and let's jump into it! I will try to analyze the trailer, I will try to find all the hidden things in it, like look at the new scenery items, look at the new foliage that we already can see in this first shot of the trailer, and of course uh, see, uh, I will try to find uh, all the animals that are included in the trailer. Of course, the new DLC comes with five new animals, uh, the Lark Gibbon, the Red River Hawk, the Fusa, the Asian Water Monitor, and the Brown Throat Sloth. This is an amazing lineup, I love it already, uh, but firstly, let's watch the trailer uh, so you guys can see what we'll be looking at. I'll be quiet for a second and then we will talk about it more, so let's see it. It is totally amazing, isn't it? Like those trailers always get me so, so hyped for the game and for the new things that are coming with all those new DLCs. Uh, this one looks amazing. Of course, it shows us many new building pieces and a very creative way of using them. It also shows us new plants and the animals in the best possible way. Uh, before we'll jump into this trailer and look at it uh, like frame by frame, uh, let me give uh, a big thank you, say big thank you to Frontier for providing me with a little alley access uh, for this announcement trailer so I can record uh, that video a bit earlier to share with you guys all the news and to go and analyze this trailer uh, together uh, just minutes after the official one is released. So yeah, here we go. Uh, in this first frame already we can see a lot of new things. Uh, I'm talking here about the plants, so uh, of course we have those plants here and here and those are our uh, insect eating plants like this one is for sure I think I think that this one also uh, like uh, attracts insects because it smells of uh, rotten meat it is the rafflesia if I am correct this is the pisher plant I love this one so much uh, we also have some new ferns in here and I think some new plants here so it all looks amazing those plants are really really nice I am so hyped that we finally get some some new uh, tropical plants because uh, we were getting those grasslands uh, plants, the more temperate ones, and finally we got some really nice uh, like uh, tropical plants of this perfect quality that uh, Frontier is providing us uh, with right now. So let's go a bit further in the in the trailer because uh, there. In the distance, we can see our first animal, the new Largibon, the white Largibon, and it is using, this is brachiating, if I am pronouncing it right, uh, on this uh, vine, which is quite new. I don't think that the Siamangs were able to do that, uh, so this was definitely added. We will have to see if the Siamangs will be also able to uh, make that uh, in the actual game, but it looks so amazing. Uh, okay, so here we have the closer shot of the... Uh, of the little Largibun uh, and in the distance we can already see so many uh, new uh, like uh, different building pieces. We can see some benches, we can see uh, the, mm, the umbrellas and some new plants uh, all around here. Uh, the new plants and the architecture are inspired by the Southeast Asia. Uh, so it is interesting the Southeast Asia animal pack was an animal pack and then now suddenly we get the uh, architecture and the scenery pieces from that region as well so uh, you can use it for your uh, I don't know uh, Malaysian tapirs or, or anything like that as well if you want to uh, so let's move further uh, because there are so many things we need to talk about and I don't want this video to be too long another beautiful shot we can see some temples already uh, in the distance we'll talk about it more uh, in a second we'll see more but here's for example a new thing 
uh, uh, probably a new plant in here, like a little palm tree or anything like that. This also seems to be new. Uh, it looks so amazing, this Lark even. Okay, here we can, can see a really a lot of new things. So first of all, the new path that looks really nice. Uh, we have uh, the new uh, roof pieces, the thatch pieces, the new thatch pieces, which are a bit more grayish, and I really like that. I hope that they will also be flexicolor, but we'll have to see about that. Uh, we also can see those temples, which look really, really amazing. Of course, this is more a themed pack, but I am sure that there will be some pieces that we'll be able to use in all the like, generic city zoos because there are always some pieces like that. So uh, I am sure that a lot of those pieces will be able to use in all of our zoos. And of course, I am very excited about the new pieces. Of course, we can see here in the benches a bit more, uh, a bit better. Uh, then this is the bin probably. This is the new like plant pot or anything like that, a small like lamp. Uh, those are, I don't know if there are no new, probably not, but this thing seems to be new. I don't know what it is, what it is but it looks uh, new. Also, this texture here uh, looks uh, new, I think. Uh, here, of course, we have a lot of new pieces, like those ornaments, like those decorative stuff. It looks really nice. Uh, okay, so I think we talked about everything, so look, let's move on. Okay, so here we have the first shot of our Red River Hawk. I'm so, so hyped for those guys. I am really happy that they were added. Uh, we don't have, have any like, uh, I don't know, in detailed shots right now, but we have some of them in here. Uh, here are those sentence sticks and there's like this small coming from them. So this is a really nice detail. And we also have this little pot in here and a new like, um, and no beam or anything like that, a fence, I don't know, a wall, uh, with this very interesting like detail of the moss. I don't know if, I don't think that this is a decal, you, the, the, like the piece probably comes with it, so uh, it is really nice. We have this grumpy uh, Red River Hawk statue that is new and it's really interesting. And we also have something new here. I don't think that those are the leaves from the Twilight Pack. I think that they are new. I don't... Uh, or maybe the leaves from the Twilight Pack will be now flexicolor because I think that the ones from the Twilight Pack were more like orange, whilst those are more like uh brownish like some of them are green so it's really interesting and if it's true and we are getting new, like new decals or anything like that just new leaves uh, just imagine them in your new habitats it will look so so nice uh, okay, let's move further. Let's see what uh, this trailer holds for us. And of course, it holds for us the Asian Water Monitor. Frontier always does such an amazing job when it comes to the reptiles. And this already looks amazing. Look at the, and the skin. Look at those like claws. Look at everything. It looks so nice. The movement of it. Uh, and I am so, so excited for the new uh, like a lizard. Big lizard added to the game. We only have the... Uh, uh, Commando Dragon and uh, a Nile Monitor, so now we will have the Asian Water Monitor as well, and I am very happy about that, just in time when I am building a reptile house in the Elm Hill City Zoo, so it will definitely be added to that house. Okay, moving on. Uh, we have like a sneak peek of the uh, water Asian Water uh, Monitor in here as well. But what is really interesting is, of course, the uh, brown toads, uh, throats, throats, I think, uh, sloth <laughs> that we finally get in the game. Uh, I am so excited about this guy and I know that the community will just go crazy. Uh, they will leave in the walkthrough exhibits and we'll see like a sneak peek of the walkthrough exhibit in a second, but I am very curious how it will work. And of course, we have some new plants in here. Uh, I don't think that those are new, but maybe they, uh, I think that they are the vines or the roots from the uh, South, uh, South uh, America pack. Yes, it was the South America, uh, but maybe those are new. I don't really know. This, of course, looks amazing. I love the signs for the animals in Planet Zoo. Okay, let's move on, because in this shot, you can see a little sneak peek of the uh, actual walkthrough exhibit for the sloth. At least I think that it is what I am thinking. Uh, there's like a small climbing structure in here. It looks really interesting. Of course, we have some shots of the new plants in here. We see the new path. We also see those leaves, which are very interesting to me. We also have some like uh, ornaments in here. 
Uh, and what else? What else? Those new things, of course, uh, it looks amazing. We have the new wall set. Uh, this is what I missed. So uh, the new wall set looks nice. I can see it used in, you know, city zoos and stuff like that. So I'll definitely use it because it looks amazing. And also we have like a ladder in here. It looks really interesting. I don't know what it is, but it looks interesting. Uh, so let's move on. This shot is amazing. We can see a lot of Larkibans in here, the black ones and the uh, uh, yellow. Yellow, not yellow. Why am I forgetting colors all of, the, all of a sudden? This is the white one. Uh, and we also see a lot of different plants in here on those ruins uh, in the jungle. It looks amazing. And in the distance, we can see those uh, roofs and we'll see more on that here. Yes, this is another shot. So those uh, roofs look just amazing. And I love how uh, like overgrown they are. And we also can see a new like a lamppost or anything like that. That. we can see uh, this thing is new like a small patch roof or anything like that and also here we have like an ornamental thing I think like a painting or anything like that it looks also really really nice and of course the Lark Gibbon that looks uh, really amazing one is sitting here uh, and yeah, this is probably all when it comes. Okay, there is another shot of the Lark Gibbons. Uh, they are so beautiful. Okay, so uh, this was all when it comes to the trailer. Uh, my final thoughts, because maybe you'll try, you want to hear something like that. I think that the new pack is just amazing. Uh, of course, it is more like a themed pack. I love that this is a scenery pack because you guys love that. I love building, so uh, the new uh, building pieces that come with them if it's really excite me and uh, of course I cannot wait to see them in person and use them in my zoos uh, but uh, I love the first thing the biggest thing that I love about this update is the animal lineup I know that th those are some of the most requested animals by the community so I am I am very sure that a lot of you guys will like those animals uh, I mean we still haven't seen the Fusa uh, but I am sure that it will look amazing we We've seen the Largibon, we've seen the um, Asian uh, water monitor, like maybe not in the detail, but we've seen it. Uh, we've seen the uh, Red River Hawk in the distance, another really requested animal. And of course, there's a sloth. Finally, we'll have a sloth in the game, the animal that everyone wanted to see. Uh, so yeah, I cannot wait to see uh, all those animals. I cannot wait to see all those uh, building pieces in detail. Uh, and yeah, I am very happy with this pack, I must say. It is a bit un unexpected maybe uh, but uh, I am very 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 excited for it and let me down let me know down in the comments what are your thoughts do you like it maybe you don't like it maybe you wanted something else let me know down in the comments because I would like, like to hear your thoughts if you enjoyed this video and uh, would like to see more of videos like that, definitely consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Uh, if you enjoyed that, uh, also ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, leave me a nice comment down below and tell me what are your thoughts about the new pack. Uh, and of course, big thanks to Frontier for providing me with an early access for this um, trailer. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!